This video that you're watching right here is going to be pretty much your standard episode of The Drop, where I go over what new video games are coming out this week, though I am not going to include anything Nintendo Switch related. That being said, on Wednesday, since it's a little bit closer to the release of the Nintendo Switch, I will be doing a Drop Switch-tacular event, uh, which is pretty much where I'm going to be breaking down the console and all of the launch games that are coming out alongside of it, so that you guys can kind of keep updated on that. So now that that's out of the way, without further ado, do the, the intro thing that we do every time. So, kicking things off this week, we have Horizon Zero Dawn coming out on the PlayStation 4 exclusively. Not on the Xbox, not on the PC. Unfortunately, it's coming just to the PlayStation 4. In a lush, post-apocalyptic world where nature has reclaimed the ruins of a forgotten civilization, pockets of humanity live on in primitive hunter-gatherer tribes. Their dominion over the new wilderness has been usurped by the machines, fearsome mechanical creatures of unknown origin. Horizon Zero Dawn is an exhilarating new action role-playing game exclusively for the PlayStation 4 system developed by the award-winning Guerrilla Games creators of PlayStation's venerated Killzone franchise. Very few times in my life have I seen a game get these kind of reviews all the way across the board. I'm talking 8.5s, 9s out of 10s, 10s out of 10s from pretty much every major review source out there. Now, there are a couple that are like 2s out of 5s, you know, 3s out of 5s, and those are generally smaller people, but as far as your GameSpot, your IG, in your Verge, your Polygon, all of these are giving the game genuinely glowing reviews, and of all the podcasts that I've listened to regarding Horizon Zero Dawn, everyone is blown away by it. I literally couldn't find anything that was really a bad part about the game that has been discussed so far. What's awesome about Horizon Zero Dawn outside of the game itself is that it's finally exploring the true creative potential that's over there at Guerrilla Games. Uh, instead of forcing them to do a sequel to Killzone Shadowfall, like I kind of assumed that they would, Sony let... Uh, Guerrilla Games have a little bit of a leash, so to speak. They kind of let them run, let them do their own little thing, and it's definitely going to be a big turnaround in the long run because Horizon Zero Dawn is definitely lining the Horizon franchise up to be a big player in the PlayStation community as the years roll on. Horizon Zero Dawn is to Guerrilla Games as the Uncharted games were to Naughty Dog. Before Uncharted, uh, Naughty Dog was developing Jack and Daxter games, and it's not that those games were bad. Those just weren't the fullest potential that Naughty Dog had, as we can see through the incredible success of the Uncharted collection as well as The Last of Us and eventually The Last of Us Part 2 that's going to be coming out over the course of the next couple of years. Uh, that being said, I don't believe that the Killzone games were necessarily the full fulfillment of what Guerrilla Games is capable of, as we can see by the beauty that is Horizon, which even by its trailers has already passed everything Killzone could ever have dreamed of achieving. So if it sounds like something you might be interested in, you can check out some gameplay, you can not check out some gameplay, I'm just saying this is going to be a very, very good purchase whenever it comes out next week. Moving right along to the Walking Dead, a new frontier, which is coming out physically on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. When family is all you have left, how far will you go to protect it? After society was ripped apart by undead hands, pockets of civilization emerged from the chaos, but at what cost can the living be trusted on this new frontier? As Javier, a young man determined to find the family taken from him, you meet a young girl who has experienced her own unimaginable loss. Her name is Clementine, and your fates are bound together in a story where every choice you make could be your last. So for those that aren't familiar with what this is, it's pretty much a little spin-off story of Telltale Games' main The Walking Dead franchise, which has definitely drawn some publicity over the course of the past couple of years because it is genuinely a fantastic interactive graphic novel experience. Fans of the main Walking Dead series from Telltale are going to feel right at home here because there are a couple of characters that spill over and it kind of integrates all the storylines into one big universe, so you don't want to have to feel like you're trying a new thing right off the bat, but it definitely does give a good entry point for new people into the world of Telltale and into the world of the Walking Dead, a Telltale series. Wrapping things up, we have WRC World Rally Championship. That is a terrible name. Uh, coming to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, the Extreme Motorsport Challenge. Feel the danger. WRC six pits man and machine against the toughest most intense rally conditions on the planet the official video game of FIA, FIA World Rally Championship WRC 6 features authentic drivers cars and real race locations compete online against the best drivers in the world in weekly multiplayer challenges and the official WRC esports season it's a fine game it's not broke and it doesn't suck it's just it's just not getting it it came out on PC towards the end of last year and it's gotten 2.5 3 out of 5 you know somewhere around there so don't set your hopes to too high, though it is worth giving a look, which is why I'd included it here today, uh, since it is coming out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One this week.
So that wraps it up for this episode of The Drop. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and do not forget to subscribe so you get notified whenever that Nintendo Switch episode of The Drop comes out on Wednesday because we are going to be covering it in depth along with all the launch titles that are coming out for that thing this coming Friday in America anyway. Uh, but I want to thank you for watching this episode of The Drop. I will talk to you soon. Peace. And I can't wait to talk about the Switch on Wednesday.